Okay guys, we are gonna make this all over onesie. Um, so what I did is I picked a another design off Etsy and I just printed it out. And what I did was I measured um, a little bit above the onesie um, down to the front part of it. And that's how big I made my image. And this is on 13 by 19 paper. Um, so I'm basically going to put it on here and then trace it. Well, I'm not going to write on it, but I'm just going to cut it, um, with scissors and make it the shape of the onesie, but I'm going to leave a little bit of room. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to cut it exactly next to it because this is gonna spread out a little bit once you press it. And then once I put the butcher paper inside of it, it kind of stretches it out a little bit. Um, so you wanna leave some excess on the sides here and don't cut it right next to the onesie. So I'm gonna cut it and I'll be back. Okay, so it's all cut out now. And you can kind of see I just cut around the onesie. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is take my butcher paper and I'm going to trace the onesie on here as well and then I'm going to put it inside the onesie um, so obviously this kind of has a double purpose it prevents the ink from going through to the other side and also it kind of spreads the onesie out um, so you don't have wrinkles and stuff and make sure the design goes across the whole thing. So I'll cut that out and be back. Okay. So I cut out two templates. Well, it's not necessarily a template, but I cut out two of them, um, because you're going to want to swap them out when you flip it over and do the back side because you don't want to leave the same one in there, obviously. You don't want the ink to transfer through and have it look weird. Um, so cut out two. Okay, so now we're going to put this in here. See how that stretches that out? you want a lint roll and then see how this kind of bunches up right here we want to tape it down just while we press it so we don't get any wrinkles I mean pre-press it get the moisture out. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the heat press, um, which is right there. And then once that's heated up, I will show you guys what I do. Okay, so we're gonna pre-press it. piece of butcher paper over it just because I don't want the plate to be touching the buttons. I don't know if that's safe, you know? <laughs> okay. And I'm sorry my heat press is squeaky. I know it is. I need to get some WD-40 on there and I just have not done that. Okay, so I'm going to take this tape off. Now the onesie is nice and smooth. I'm going to lint roll it again. And once this is cooled off, I'm going to 
tape tape it to the design but I don't want to put it on there while it's still warm because I don't want the ink to start doing its magic and sorry guys I'm trying really hard to make this video short and not like 20 minutes but I also want to be like thorough so everybody gets it step by step Okay, so now I'm going to tape this down in a few places. Just so it doesn't move around. Should be good. Okay, back up here to the heat press. I'm gonna put put your paper down, turn the pressure up, flip this bad boy over, and then sure nothing's folded up under there. Okay. More butcher paper and a Teflon sheet. Cross our fingers. Okay, you guys. Ooh, hot. There she is. Super cute. And now we're going to let it cool down. Put the other butcher paper on the inside so we can do the back. Okay, so now we have the butcher paper in there. I'm just gonna limp roll it again. And now This is my other sheet I printed out for the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out and I'll be back. Okay, so that's all cut out now. And I'm going to tape it down. Make sure it's straight on there. Last time, and this time I'm going to put a little bit more tape. Just because I have to move it because my press is only 15 by 15. So this is like a little bit longer than 15. So that means I have to press it and then lift it up and then move it again and press it again. Just trying to make sure this is pulled out all the way. Make sure we don't get any wrinkles. Okay, looks good. So 
So what I do is I cut an extra long piece of butcher paper. That way, when I press it the first time, when I lift it up, I can just pull this and then get the bottom half without having to lift up the design and risk it getting all messed up. Okay, I'm hoping this is taped down good enough. Okay, we're going for it. Everything's laying flat. More butcher paper and Teflon sheet. Okay. It's done. Now I'm going to lift the bottom here and pull it through so I can get the bottom half. get antsy and mess anything up so I'm just gonna leave it alone until it's done okay it beeped at me I pulled it out let's see how it goes down so you can see looks good to me I think the super important thing ouch shit that was hot sorry I touched the stupid <laughs> button um I think the super important thing is pressure for these. Lots of pressure. Because I feel like that's what's going to get in between the buttons and stuff. I need my tape everywhere. Anyway, I hope this was super helpful. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions.